My name is Joe Blair, and I'm the president of the Individualized Apparel Group, and I've been with the Individualized Apparel Group for 30 years. The part, the Individualized Apparel Group, that I am responsible for and I spend most of my time with is seven factories. Those factories support 14 different brands, and we manufacture product which sells to the best stores in America and around the world. We wear many hats in our company. Uh, we're very conservative about the way we do business and people have more than one function. If I had to singly describe what the most important thing I do every day is, it's sell. And we are a sales-driven company. But what do we spend our time on in the Individualized Power Group and the Tom James Company? We spend our time building people, building sales, and building profits. We are obviously in the luxury business. One aspect of the luxury part of the business is that we manufacture in America. The second aspect is that we're custom made. And custom is by its very nature luxury because it's made specifically for you and the cost of doing that is somewhat higher than just buying stock items. We're a very unique business because from the selling point of view, we're selling direct. We don't do a lot of advertising or marketing. It's kind of an old-fashioned approach, which social media has really taken on the same concept and just done it electronically. We do it the old way by picking up the phone, sending an email, handshaking, and meeting people. <music> Manufacturing in America is something that's very close uh, to my heart because that is what we're all about. That really defines our company. We've done that since our inception over 50 years ago. You could define what we do as first and foremost, making in America. Secondly, we're makers, we're not brokers. Uh, we don't buy goods from other people and then sell them. We manufacture everything we do. Manufacturing in America makes communication easier. It makes the business more of a hands-on approach because you don't have to travel very far to your facilities. It's just an easier way to do business. It's more green. There are less transportation costs. But I think the greatest value uh, for us manufacturing in America is the fact that we provide jobs. We provide over 4,000 jobs in America. There's a great sense of pride. It makes what we do that much more meaningful every day. One of the things that, that is very unique about our company is that we weave textiles, uh, we manufacture garments, and then we sell them at wholesale and at retail. So that distribution chain is something that we own and we manage. We own the means of production, we own all of our factories, we own the real estate, and we weave our own goods, we manufacture our own products, and we sell our own products. A hundred percent, almost, of what we use in our products, particularly in our shirt products, is cotton. And we do some stretch, and stretch, of course, has cotton and synthetic. We do natural cottons, but beginning with uh, 40 singles pinpoint for an entry level, and again, up to 300s four ply. Uh, we use the finest Giza and Egyptian cotton and Supima cotton that we can find. I think first and foremost, you never quite know where life will take you in your career. So certainly um, studying your craft in school and being degreed helps. Then apply yourself, work as hard as you can. One of the things that was very beneficial to me is I did not have mentoring and I did not have the background. So I raised up the level of my studying and read everything I possibly could and studied everything I could and I shopped the stores and paid attention to trends and you can teach yourself if you open your mind to it. Successful people tend to form the habits and do the things that unsuccessful people simply will not do. You have to throw yourself into the mix and do difficult things every day if you want to be successful. I think you need to take risks, but take smart risks. Uh, one of the things I like to say to new people who come into our business, it's okay to take a risk, it's okay to make a mistake. If you're gonna make a mistake, make a $500 mistake. Don't make a $50,000 mistake. And that I think has served me pretty well.